right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans and the Rampage Jackson, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. Jones will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? Well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, We've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick.
Straight right hand now, just misses. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big oh. leg kicks. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels awfully good. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem, put out Velasquez, put out Dos Santos, and he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of its martial arts. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Takedown defense holds up. And he comes through with a big knee. Jones' the shot is blocked. Inside leg kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Ghana. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big that knee D, lands there. That knee hurt him. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Circling to his right. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it. Whoa! Oh! Oh, big left hook there! The Predator gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap it. Under a minute now to go in this one. Uppercut lands for him. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. The Predator gets caught with that punch. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand. The oh, big knee! Big kick lands. Round two winding down. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, He's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, five minutes down. Here we go at the start of round two. Francis Ngannou and John Jones. Dig and kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press.
aggression. He's got to go change that finish down now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Jones's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Beautiful kick. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, big left. Knee to the body. Oh! Gets up again here, but hurt. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but... The oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator Ngannou. All right, so heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the